I remember 1986, I became a stockbroker at Shearson, and all the talk was of globalization then. All the talk was of globalization, right? Well, today, we're watching globalization fall apart, but the interlinkage uh, between the banks, this crisis can start anywhere and spread everywhere. And that's really why this matters the most to you, because it isn't just, oh, that's over there and we're fine over here. We're not fine. And it's been years and years in the making. Risks for emerging markets have multiplied this year. Global food inflation, oil price shocks. Overall, that's a risk indicator. And you can see that that's on the rise. And the number of countries in debt distress that will grow and it'll be very interesting to see. Now, look, if you're sitting in gold and you're sitting in something that can protect you, okay, I mean, it's going to happen. It puts you in a position to take advantage of the opportunities that will present in these markets, but not yet. It's not yet. Investors also pulled $8.7 billion out of bonds, $55.4 billion from cash. Wait, I thought cash was king. Oh, pouring 900 million into gold. And that was before last Friday's stock market wrap. They're going to safety and it's just getting started. How do you feel about that? Because emerging market bonds have wiped out gains of the last two years, count them two, as the sell-off extended into a fourth month in the longest streak of losses since what year? 2006, as we were setting up for the financial crisis. And emerging market debt sales plunge. Hmm. And so developing nation April issuance fell to the lowest in 10 years. They can't sell the bonds, so they got to stop issuing. Wait a minute. Can a government that's got to fund its spending really stop issuing bonds? Or will the central bank just go into this vicious doom loop along with the, with the government, with the banks that are forced to buy the government garbage? Oh, I mean government debt. Surging yields are deterring emerging market issuers because it's getting more and more expensive to buy it. So you've got increased interest rates along with if they've been issuing or if they want to issue dollar denominated debt or foreign currency debt. So you have like a double whammy because you have the currency that you must buy to service that debt going up at the same time that you have interest rates going up. No wonder these countries are in trouble, but it's not just over there because we are incestuously interlinked. IMF urges Latin America to address inflation to curb, here it is, unrest risk, because that's how they lose control and how they lose power that could work to our advantage. The little people, maybe, maybe we can get a more fair monetary system. If we come together and we we say, no, we won't accept this garbage, we won't accept the CBDCs, we got a shot, we got a shot. It's talking about the revolution. We've talked about the revolution potentially starting. It's those repeatable patterns. That's what the whole strategy is based on the repeatable patterns that happen every single time. Because I cannot guarantee tomorrow, that's way beyond my control. But I do believe that if something has happened the same way every time and we're doing the same thing, our most likely outcome is we're going to get the same result. I mean, that just makes sense. So what else is one of those repeatable patterns? Well, Gold provides down, downside protection. This is not rocket science. This is global equities, UK gilts, and gold returns in uh, British pounds during periods of systemic risk. Because gold is a proven safe harbor, what do you want to be holding? 
because this on top of the end of the currency's life cycle means that that we're quickly approaching a point where the dollar will have zero, count it, zero value. Last, its most widely recognized feature is its potential value in highly adverse scenarios, and it's called the war chest argument, but it's been proven over and over and over again. So I'm good with it. And that's how I'm protecting myself and my family. That's also how I'm positioning to take advantage of the opportunities that present. And there will be many opportunities that present. Because right now, with all of the new money that's been flooding into the system, the system died in 2008. I don't really care what anybody says. It died. And they just put it on life support. And that life support was massive money printing to reflate the targeted assets stocks, bonds, real estate, because of the massive amount of derivatives that sits on top of all of it. Minimum 610 trillion notional. Notional means nobody knows the true value at risk. I don't know it. You don't know it. They don't know it. Physical gold and physical silver in your possession. This is critically important. It's not the only thing you need, but it's the foundation of what you need. Because with gold, you can maintain any of your fiat money assets that you have. You can protect against the collapse in the markets. And with the silver, you can maintain your day-to-day -day living. There are different types of gold and different types of silver. So it always has to start with your goals. But the first goal is it should always be protection. And there's your foundation. Then you also need food, water, energy, security. You've got the barter ability, the wealth preservation. That community piece is critical and your shelter. That's what Beyond Gold and Silver deals with. But these are all the things that we need to maintain a reasonable standard of living. Get it done please get it done. I'm so grateful that I'm in this industry and know how deeply I dig into stuff. Believe my work. So many people could tell you what you should do when they're not doing it. I'm only telling you what I am doing for myself. You make the choice on whether or not that works for you. And I know this is not fun to talk about or think about, but it's not going to be fun if you end up in abject poverty. I guarantee that one. I can't give you a lot of guarantees. I'll guarantee you are not going to like it if you end up in ab abject poverty. So get your wealth shield intact. Get it done today while you still have choice, while you still can.